The ATACs are autonomous track testing vehicles. The initial idea was just to get, you know, track testing done you know, on a greater frequency. The safer the track, the better condition that we maintain the track, you know, and if we know where our problems are, then we can address them before they delay traffic. Prior to the ATAC system coming along, most of the tracks at CSX were tested twice a year. The ATAC system's getting, you know, twice a week. We have rich enough data that we can trend that data well, CSX was uh, one of the first ones to adopt uh, the autonomous testing. What it does is it does track geometry testing. We assess the condition of the track relative to what our speeds are. The higher the speed, the tighter our thresholds for maintenance are. It really doesn't disrupt anything in the, in the network. There are cellular modems that are used to pull the data off and on. There's an INSCO um, rail geometry test system. So this is a optical non-contact system to test the geometry. ATAX 5 through 8 also have a rail metrics optical system and that's for the asset testing so that it can view and identify assets on the track. So once we've collected the data um, from the field, we load the data into the CSX databases. Right now, if it detects a defect, that is handed off to the track inspector. It shows up as a defect in the MEL workflow, which is the field inspection software. He'll get a defect that shows up in his work, and so he has, depending on severity of the defect, he has a certain amount of time to address that defect. Now we can see the trends in the data and go out and fix things before they rise to the level of a defect.